Hey guys, CB Super here. Today we're going to go over some text animation. How to animate text over time in DaVinci Resolve using keyframes. And the best part about this is you don't even have to go into the Fusion tab. You can do this all right there in the Edit tab. So let's get started. So inside the Project Manager, I'm going to get a new project. And I'm just going to call this Animate. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is create a new bin by right-clicking over here just underneath Master and then tapping New Bin. I'm going to title this Footage, and I'm going to create one more bin, title this Music. For my music, I'm going to go ahead and right-click, go down to Import Media, and I already have a song picked out that has some nice beats for me to animate to. I'm going to come over to Footage, and I'm just going to grab this Desert Drone footage, and I'm just going to drag and drop it right into the timeline. I'm going to go ahead and let it play to about five seconds here. That's about good enough. Right around five seconds, and I'm going to hit the B key for my blade tool and just trim it off. Hit the A key to go back to my selection tool and just delete the rest of that clip. All right, and I'm just going to grab this music file and bring it right underneath and drop it. I'm actually going to drop it right underneath this footage. Um, first thing you'll notice is that uh, this Nambia clip, it actually has like its own title track, even though there is no sound in it. See if you mute this and I play it, there's no sound. So I'm actually just gonna click on the footage, which these are both linked together, right click, and down here where it says link clips, I'm just gonna click on that, and that's gonna unlink those two clips. Now I can grab the Nambia's audio file and just delete it. And I can move this music up just a little bit. Click B to get my blade tool, trim it at the end. If it's not getting it perfect because it's not snapping, just make sure that your snapping is clicked. You can also hit the end key. All right, back to the A key for selection, grab it, and just backspace to delete. All right, now I have some beats to this footage that I can animate on. All right, and that sounds pretty good. Um, first thing I'm gonna need though, is I'm actually gonna need a text. I'm gonna come over here to my toolbox, and I'm just gonna click on titles, and I'm gonna come down here to text. Now I could use this regular text and I could drop it in here and it's gonna automatically adjust to the clip size. And I could type in CB Super. I could size it up. Um, and that's, that's like a really easy way to go. But if I wanted more options, I could use this Fusion tab over here. I can use the Fusion text, but you know what? It's really not necessary for what we're going to go over today. So I'm just going to stick with the one that we got here. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be working in this spline graph. So if you want to just click on it, it's usually at the end, right before that diamond. And that's going to just start getting us ready for all of the actual adding and adjusting the splines and working within the keyframes themselves. So you'll notice that we have two tabs up here that are immediately available. One is the composite and one is the transform. I'm actually gonna turn off composite for right now and I'm gonna animate on the transform just so I can actually see what I'm doing before I start messing with whether I can or can't see using the opacity sliders. So I'm gonna kind of play this song back and I could add markers by hitting the M key, but I'm actually not gonna do that. Uh, one thing you could do is you could listen to the song and as you hear a beat that you like, you can go ahead and mark it. But to be honest, um, I'm not very good at like hitting it at the right time. So I'm just gonna come through here and I'm just gonna actually look over to the right where my audio mixers are. And I'm gonna go off of whatever I see that's uh, near clipping. So I know that right off the bat, run, one of the first couple of frames actually hits really hard. So I'm just gonna use my arrow keys, my arrow left and my arrow right key to find where a good beat is. I'm just gonna keep tapping. Oh, there I saw one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start my zoom here. I'm actually just gonna increase my zoom a little bit and I'm gonna keyframe it. Then I'm gonna go back right around two frames or so and I'm gonna make it smaller. Now that's gonna automatically create a keyframe and you'll notice now that when I play it back, gets a little bit bigger when that beat hits. So this is gonna be very key. Um, one thing I'm definitely gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna to wanna to use this plus or minus key to just kinda of zoom in to the little area that I'm gonna be working in. I can go a little bit farther and hit maybe another two frames or so, and I can go ahead and zoom out a little bit. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna be our follow through. So that's gonna, it's gonna get bigger as the beat hits, but then it's gonna shrink back down a little bit and wait for the next beat. 
All right, now I can go find the next beat. So right about there. So before I actually enlarge it, I'm actually gonna go back a couple frames and I'm gonna shrink it down. I'm actually gonna hit a keyframe and then I'm gonna go forward to and I'm gonna enlarge it and it's gonna automatically make a keyframe. Now go forward another two frames, shrink it down a little and that'll make another keyframe. All right, and that'll take us to the end of the clip and let's see what we have here. Go back to the beginning. So that's a super easy way to animate zooms. Um, we could go even a little bit further and we could animate when you start hearing that clicking sound, we can have it shutter. I'm actually gonna leave it like that because I'm actually gonna be adjusting the opacity quite a bit. So let's go ahead and jump into, we're gonna turn off the transform for now and we're gonna just deal with the opacity. Okay, so now that we're in the spline editor for opacity, we can go ahead and get started with deciding what we want to accentuate. And for this one, I think we want to accentuate those big beats. We want to have it flash on and flash off. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we might, might do that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the actual beat itself. And I'm going to just use my arrow keys to forward to the beat. All right, so this is the frame that it's actually going to be on. And I'm just going to go ahead and click a keyframe, go two frames in front drop the opacity all the way down, and then go two frames behind and drop the opacity all the way down as well. I'd also like it to do something whenever these uh, clappings are going on, so we can have it flicker on the opacities. So one frame in front, gonna go ahead and keyframe, move one frame, opacity up, one frame, maybe two frames, keyframe it, one frame, opacity down. All right, what's that look like? And actually, you know what, when that clapping goes, I'm gonna actually extend this out right about there. And then back up on the clap. So one in front, add a keyframe, opacity all the way up. I'm gonna actually zoom out just a little bit. Right on that beat, I think we'll add another keyframe. Go one more, and then we'll drop it all the way down. Go forward of the sound you wanna activate on, add a keyframe, move it forward one, opacity up. And we could probably just leave it on from there and see what that looks like. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, one thing I definitely gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna add a little bit of flickering just to give it a little bit more life as if it's uh, getting ready to flash out. So I can just move forward here, one, add a keyframe. I could just kinda go every, add a couple keyframes here just frame by frame. And then I can come through here and I can actually kind of zoom in to see what I'm doing. And I can just grab every other keyframe and just drop it all the way down to zero. Or about, it doesn't have to actually go all the way down. Because what I'm doing here is I'm just adding a little bit of flicker. Now I can kind of zoom out and let's see what that looks like. I think that looks pretty cool. And one thing I can do is I can actually just, cause it's very on or off, which can be good in some instances, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna spline it out a little bit, kind of like have an easy ease in and easy ease out that's going to do is that's going to give it just a little bit more of an organic life to it almost like it's more like character animation all right that looks pretty cool now we're going to go ahead and turn back on our transforms wow all right it's starting to really come alive now and you can see how you could keep playing with this 
um, probably for hours just animating this one text title. There's a bunch of different things we could do, but I think this gets us started and gets us moving into the right direction of actually animating our text titles so that they are a little bit more entertaining to watch. All right, guys, that's looking pretty good. I'm pretty excited about how that's turning out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to hit that bell notification. Also, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. What's up with the beast, boy?